In this tutorial, we will teach you basic and multi-field sorting in Excel. If you have a large data and you want to sort it, you can use the Sort and Filter option available in Excel. In this video, we want to sort the data according to the departments. Click anywhere in the department column and go to the editing group and click on the Sort and Filter button. From the drop-down menu, select the A to Z option. The departments will be sorted accordingly. Similarly, if we want to sort the data in the Hours column, we will click on the same button and choose an option. In this case, the option is From Largest to Smallest because the column has numbers in it, so the options will be given accordingly as well. You can even customize how you want to sort. Click on the Sort and Filter button and choose the Custom Sort option. A small box will open. In this video, we will choose to sort by State and apply order from A to Z. Now let's add another level to it. Click on the Add Level button, and then in the Then By field, select Department. We will add another level, and this time the criteria would be to sort by Wage. Once done, we will click on the OK button. Notice that the state of California is listed at the top and fulfills our sorting criteria requirements at all levels. You can apply filters as well. Simply go to the Sort and Filter button and select the Filter option. You will see that in the top row of the data there will be drop-down buttons. If you want to filter the data by state, click on the State button. Deselect all the states and then click on the state which you want to filter by. We will apply the filter to Transportation in a similar manner. If you want to remove the filter, then click on the drop-down menu and select the Clear Filter From option. Consider you want to know the people who are in the Executive Department and whose salary is more than 500. Apply the filter to the Department column. In the Wage column, click on the drop-down button. Go to Number Filter and click on the Greater Than or Equal To option. Now write the value you want to filter by and click on the OK button.